Hi, I'm Dan Dorenzo. Welcome to Fire Engineering Train Minutes. In this session, we're going to continue to look at establishing anchor points for utilizing a personal escape system to perform a firefighter egress. This session, we're going to talk about utilizing the tension and anchor on a structural member, and then what to do should the event that it fail. This time, the firefighter's located a structural member. He's going to deploy his system. As he deploys his system, he gets a hold of the structural member. Unfortunately, he cannot wrap it around to put the knots in, so he's just got to go tension. As he moves across the room, he must keep tension on the anchor at all times. Should he release tension, he runs the risk of the anchor coming undone. He gets to the window. As he gets to the window, he makes his mark. He clears the device from the sill. As he performs his final check, he realizes that slack has become in the escape line and his anchor fails. He needs at this point to now revert to the last resort option, which is the sill anchor. In order to do this, he must pull the escape line through the descent device so that way the hook gets to the sill. He'll now revert to the sill anchor, hook it himself off completing his transition. As we just saw, we learned what we can do should our primary anchor fail, we know what we can revert back to. We need to have all these options available to us in a moment's notice. We'd like to thank Sterling Rope for their sponsorship. Stay safe.